Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm John. Welcome to Geeks One on One. We are going to be showing you reviews and tutorials about stuff we like, mostly tech stuff, but also more. Our first video will be a tutorial about how to install the PlayStation 3 True Blue Dongle and how to update it. We are also going to be showing you a little bit of gameplay from some of the latest games like Dark Souls and Soul Calibur 5. Okay, so let's begin. We will switch to our screen now and begin with uh, downloading of the necessary files. Okay, so here we are on our screen now, and the first thing we want to do is go to the True Blue dongle site. It's TrueBlueJB2.com, and you're gonna go to the downloads, and here you will see the two necessary files. So let's just go and start downloading these files. Okay, and once you've got them downloaded, you'll get these two files. One of them is 170 megabytes, the other one is just some kilobytes, like 704. We're going to unwrap them. So these are the two files that you're gonna see. And in this file, the custom firmware v2 version 2 file, you will see a file that says ps3updat.pup and this one, in order to make it visible for your PlayStation 3, the first thing you need is a USB stick or an external hard drive and it should be formatted on a, a FAT32 format. It, your PlayStation 3 cannot read any other format, so I'm gonna insert my USB stick right now <coughs> and once the computer recognizes it we're going to create a new file and the name should be PS3 in capital letters that's important or else it will not see that inside that folder we create another folder that will be named update again with capital letters and we're gonna copy this file into our USB stick we're gonna open up the second folder and we're gonna copy just as it is Okay, so we've booted up our PlayStation 3 and the first thing you need to do is, first of all, important, don't insert the USB dongle, not yet. The first thing you want to check is your firmware version. You need to be below 3.55 to be able to do this or exactly on 3.55. So let's go down here and check our system information and you'll see where on 3.55 so we're good to go and in order to update it we just go to the system update and you press the update via storage media not the via internet so press X and it says that it has detected the 3.55 true blue DG that's a dongle so we press OK and we let it do its stuff it's gonna take a while Okay, let's agree to everything first and press start without uh, checking the turn off system automatically after update. <coughs> it's gonna take a while, so I guess we're gonna fast forward it for you because it's about 10 minutes, I think. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. The system has restarted. We press the PS button to re-enable our controller. And you will actually see no change when you go to the system information. It will still say 3.55. But don't worry about it. You actually have installed the True Blue uh, firmware. So the next thing you need to do is to go to your game and install package files folder and 
we will need to find the true blue update 2.5.pkg that's the package that we downloaded and it's the latest up to this date so you first need to just install it and again we still haven't inserted the USB dongle yet okay now that it's installed we just go to the installed application and we just run it okay and now we're prompted to insert our USB dongle now so let's actually do that just give me a second so now that we've inserted it you see that it's prompted and a known USB device has been connected we just click on the OK and it says that the true blue dongle updater 2.5 is ready to you know do its stuff so we press ok again and we wait until the update is done okay dongle update complete the system will now restart just press ok and wait for the playstation 3 console to reboot <laughs> Okay, so now that the system is booted up again, let's go to our system information. We do have our USB dongle connected right now, so let's go down to the system information and you will see the version 3.55, True Blue version 2.5. If you boot up without the dongle on your PlayStation 3, it will say just what it said before, version 3.55 and it will act like it acted before if you had a custom firmware if you boot up your manager it will play any games that you played before but not the games that require a firmware higher than 3.55 so let's go and check out our new firmware and we just put up Multiman, one of the best managers out there Okay, so let's find our game. I have actually some games that are for a firmware higher than 3.55. One of the famous ones is Dark Souls, so let's just click the X button and wait for it to just go back to the XMB of the PlayStation 3. And okay, let's just click on the Dark Souls. And yes, it does work. I'm gonna show you some game footage for those who had to convince that this works. Okay, so let's press the button and let's load the game because I've already just gone ahead and played some. I guess that's a bit loud for you, so I'm gonna put the volume down a bit. Okay, and here we are. And it's Dark Souls running on a PlayStation 3 with a 3.55 
firmware, but it's a custom firmware with our true blue dongle. And let's quit this. And I'm going to show you Soul Calibur 5, which is one of the newest games that came out. So again, let's put up Multiman. And going down, down. And here we go. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, we hope you like our video. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press that like button that will appear in this arrows here and share it. Yes, we have Twitter, to Facebook, share. or anything please else. Share. Yeah, just share it. <laughs> okay. And bye bye for now. Okay, bye bye. Just stop it, man. <clears throat> right now? <laughs> okay. Okay, here we are again. <laughs> I um, told you, you, you forgot about okay, our website. Sure. I mean, I'm okay. Sure. Okay. So, what? You, our what? website? Come okay. on, okay. We are going. We are preparing a website for you, so you will have our latest news uh, coming soon. Stuff for uh, for our videos and yeah, it will be related nice. to yeah. whatever we More do. More on the fly update. Okay. So, you know, stay tuned. I guess we're going to be making more videos if you like. More to come, more to come. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> For good now. Yeah, yeah, bye.